dad left him early in his life, which left his mother struggling to provide for the family. When Jackson was 13, he was caught throwing rocks at the Baptist minister's hogs. Later that summer, he had to pay off a $3,000 loss. Jackson quickly found that athletics would get him out of trouble, and he became a very hard worker at McCourty High School, where he played baseball, football, and ran track. Bo Jackson was drafted in the second round in 1982 by the New York Yankees, but declined to go get a degree at Auburn University. To the right of Hubert Campbell, pitches the ball on his way for the front side. He throws the tackle, he's the 45 to 40. Jackson looks for running room, hits it behind, got away. At the 25, he's in the foot race of the 20. To the 15, to the 10, touchdown Auburn! There he ran track and played football and baseball and was the first to ever do so. In 1982, he became a standout at Auburn University in football and baseball. Bo Jackson shattered many records at Auburn University and was named MVP in football at the Sugar Bowl and Cotton Bowl and came back his senior year after being drafted first round in the NFL and came back and won the most prestigious award, the Heisman Trophy. Of the great club, the Downtown Athletic Club that I represent, to present the 51st Heisman Memorial Trophy to Bo Jackson of Auburn. He did not slack behind in baseball, as he made the all-regional team and in 1985 was selected into the major league by the California Angels but declined to return for his senior year. We can't forget about his track career at Auburn all as well, as he qualified for the U.S. track and field team in 1986. After college, Bo Jackson played in the MLB as well as the NFL. In the MLB, he went professional in 1986 and played for the Kansas City Royals, the Chicago White Sox, and the California Angels. During his time in baseball, he was the 1989 All-Star Game MVP, achieved four 20 home run seasons, and tied the record for the most consecutive at-bat home runs with four home runs. Jackson's professional football career started in 1987 when he signed with the LA Raiders. In his first season, he ran a record-breaking 221-yard rushing performance on Monday Night Football. He spent four seasons in the game before an injury which sidelined Jackson in 1991. He never returned to the game. When your legs don't work like they used to before In 1991, Jackson suffered a hip fracture in an NFL playoff game. It was severe in prognosis by the doctor who said the Royals believed he would never return to professional athletics. They let him out of his contract early and the Chicago White Sox picked up his option. Football was over for the season, but Jackson's love of baseball motivated his rehab. And in 1992, he was back on the field helping the White Sox capture the 1993 American League West Championship. Jackson married his college sweetheart, Linda Garrett, in 1987. Together they had two sons, Garrett and Nicholas, followed by a daughter, Morgan. In 1994, Jackson left professional athletics for good. It was another one of his surprising moves. He said he had wanted to spend more time with his family. He had grown up poor without a father and with a mother who was too busy to spend much time with their children. Jackson had vowed not to let that happen to his family. After leaving professional athletics, Jackson declined offers to coach or work with administrative staffs of many teams that came to him. As he told the ESPN reporter Bob Brown, he wants to no part of big time sports. Now I cherish my privacy, he says. I've left professional sports. Believe it, I got a life. Jackson now has many business ventures, all of which are centered in Alabama. He organizes as many businesses under ingenuity. He has a Bo Jackson Enterprises base in Mobile, and this business is coordinating hub of many other businesses he operates, from nutritional food products to suppliers of manpower nationwide. <laughs>